Why is it important for you to understand load ratings, GVM and GCM? Because it is critical to the safety and the performance of your vehicle. So today we're going to talk about everything weights. For me, it was really important when we brought mode to the market that we wanted to be really transparent about how weights work. Every vehicle has a GVM and a GCM. And in really simple terms, the gross combined mass is the whole vehicle, everything inside it, inclusive of what you're towing. GVM is your gross vehicle mass, which is the whole vehicle and all of its contents within it. So with both the GVM and the GCM, when it comes time to putting a canopy on the back of your vehicle, it single-handedly is taking up most of that extra weight that is allowable. After you put the canopy on there, then there's the interior fit out. And after your interior fit out, there's everything that's gonna go on the roof. Now, the number one thing we are really stayed focused on is we had to reduce the actual weight of the canopy itself. By keeping focused on that, we're now increasing the payload of which you can now put in to your interior fit out and what's on your roof and also most importantly the extra gear that you're going to put inside that canopy that weight comes into the total equation by maximizing that payload we're giving you the customer the most variances to making decisions on where you're going to put that i like to keep the interiors fairly simple on canopies so i'm leaving plenty of payload for all of the gear that i want to be able to take to maximize the longest period of time i can stay out in the bush so like everything when it's getting engineered, we need to give parameters and outcomes to our engineers to be able to design something too. And it would be very foolish to give them parameters that are way too high. The example of that, which seems to come up a lot in the canopy market, is what is your roof loading? We have really tried to focus on the market of what I'm labeling performance touring, which is where people are going out, they're choosing challenging tracks, they need to be able to have their vehicle operating at a good, safe mode that allows them to get through tricky tracks and not have any safety issues around being overloaded. Now, basically, if you've got 750 kilos of overall allowance and there's 370 kilos of canopy and or fixed weight on the top, we now only have 380 kilos left in that equation. Now, by the time you add an electrical system and a fridge, you're probably another 100 kilos into it, so we're back to 280 kilos there. Now, I would think that's a reasonable number to have swags and all of your other gear that's going to go inside this canopy but what we were seeing is that people were getting into these cycles where they're creating overweight vehicles then being told they need to do gvm upgrades which are costing huge amounts of money and adding further weight to the vehicle and we're really seeing that there's trading this cycle of a poor performing vehicle and we're really trying to solve that problem and that is why we are trying to be as so upfront as possible around the gvm the gcm what the weights are of an empty canopy, what the dynamic load allowance is of your canopy when driving down the road for the roof load, as well as what that is for the static. So if you're looking to build the ultimate adventuring machine, jump on the Mode website where you'll find all of the weights, all of the information, and all of the costs needed to be able to pull a rig like this together.